Hi friends, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to sum a column in numbers on your Mac. Let's do it right now. Okay, so for this tutorial, we are obviously using a very, very simple spreadsheet. Again, I just wanna show you how this all adds up and how you can do it, and then you can kind of get creative within your own spreadsheets. So I've made just a real simple uh, column over here showing what our numbers are going to be. And we can see we're gonna have a number one, two, three. These obviously can extend down as far as you want. So what we need to do first is actually enter the formula down here on the sum line, and then we can mix and match our numbers as we please. So once we're highlighted over the specific cell we want to use as our total, what I'm gonna do is hit the equals key on my keyboard, and that's gonna bring up our little formula button. And then what I can do is I can come up here and I can click and hold on B2, and then I'm going to actually drag down all the way through the last row that I want in our sum. So once you have that specific area highlighted, you can release, and as you can see, we've got a nice little formula built. I can go ahead and click this little green check mark, and the formula now will be in action. What we can uh, do from here is actually start plugging in some numbers. So let's say there's a thousand right here. Let's say 500 right here, or 5,000 right here, and let's say 100 right here. As you can see, the total will continue to add up as we shift around our numbers and add different things. You can take away as needed, and that formula will automatically update. One of the other cool things that you can do is actually double click on here after the formula is built, and you can take these little bubbles that you see on either edge, and you can actually drag those up or down, left or right if you want, to include more cells that you want to be totaled down in your sum row. Friends, I hope that's helped. Again, a very simple little video tutorial, but hopefully it gets you on your way to building spreadsheets within numbers. If this has helped, would you guys please hit that thumbs up button and stay tuned because we actually have a bunch more numbers tutorial videos that we're making really, really soon. Thanks so much for watching.